Hi guys, for today's DIY, I'm gonna show you how to make some tumbler room decor. All these things are really simple to make and really affordable. I made everything in this video for under $8. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's jump right into it. For the tinted mason jar, you're going to need a mason jar, food coloring, glossy glue. You're also going to need a bowl and some plastic knives or popsicle sticks. Start off by adding your glossy glue to the bottom of your mason jar. Following that, add a few drops of food coloring depending on how dark or light you want the color. Mix that all up until you've evenly distributed all the color around the mason jar. Then you just want to swirl it around to cover the entire mason jar with a glue mixture. Let it dry on top of here for about an hour just to let all the excess glue drip out. You're going to then pop it in the oven and you're going to set your oven to 225 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Once that's all done, you want to remove it from the oven and let it cool. And once it's cool, you're all finished. She said we're dressed in black from head to toe We've got guns hidden under our petticoats and we're never gonna This decorative candle is super simple to make. All you need are thumbtacks and candles. I got all of these things from the dollar store so you can technically make one for two dollars. So you just take your thumbtacks and basically create any design you want. They push into the candle wax very easily so I just decided to go for like a really small like chevron print and keep it very minimal but you can make a heart design, a star, you can put your initial, really whatever you want. And and that's basically all you have to do for this candle. For the collage wall art, you're going to need a poster board, scissors, a glue stick, any magazine cutouts, pictures, or stickers that you'd like to use for this. So go ahead and arrange everything the way you would like it on your board just so you get a good idea of how many pictures you need and how much space you would like to cover. Once you're all done with that, you just begin the gluing process. Make sure you start with the bottom pictures first. That way you get them to overlap just how you had them laid out in the beginning. And that's pretty much it. It dries instantly because it's just a glue stick and you are all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to also subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos. The music featured in this video is by Travis. I will have his channel linked down below. Along with the links to my Twitter and Instagram, make sure to follow me on there and send me pictures if you decide to make any of these. I would love to see them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!